All right, we are doing the North uh, Patuckaway State Park full ring hike. Around seven miles with about 2,000 feet of elevation gain. Starting our hike by going up the North Mountain Trail, which is a snowmobile trail right here. To the part of the trail that attacks the uh, the, attacks the, uh, the slopes in the mountain. There's Mike. What up? And me. Should be a lot of fun. This the junction here. Uh -huh. All right, we've reached the junction with the North Mountain Bypass. Going to be heading up the uh, North Mountain Trail, a mile to the summit. Then I'll update you as to what we're going to do next after I pass that. Heading up the uh, south side of North Patuckaway Mountain. Getting pretty steep. You think so? What? That's getting steep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, there's only a few short scattered steep parts, so shouldn't be that bad. Should be approaching the uh, ledge viewpoint near the West Peak. One of the best views of this entire uh, mountain ridge, the North Mountain. And I believe that's it right up there. Gotta go up there to reach it though. We've officially arrived at the uh, West Peak ledge viewpoint. As you can see, the view is pretty beautiful. Got the side of the mountain right here. You can see all the way to the other end of the ridge. Somewhere out there is Portsmouth. Got a duck away south peak right there. It's just beautiful. We're in a nice woodsy area right now. I know on the back side of this mountain there's a nice hemlock forest that we'll walk through, which you will hopefully see later. Okay, we've reached the top of North Patekwe Mountain. Elevation 1,011 feet. And not much of a view. I know there used to be a wooden fire tower up here, but it got taken down because it was too dangerous. From the top there's a uh, pretty nice view, but now it's gone. Not really much you can see. I mean, you have really small peekaboo views in the trees, but that's only because there's no leaves. Not the case in summer. What do you think about the trek thus far? It's actually it's a lot easier than I thought it would be in snow. I mean, I figured it'd be a hell of a lot well, slower, but we're actually we're making good ground in the time that we've had. Oh yeah. We'll probably end up hiking at least some part of the hike in the dark, but that's all right. Like I said, I have a light source. All and right, we'll get be walking it. down anyways, which would be uh, probably a lot safer than walking up. Oh yeah. Gonna take a short little water break and then head back to All right, uh, we just passed the, the summit. Trail. Now we're gonna head down the back side of the mountain to the Boulder Trail, which we'll take to the South Ridge Trail, and then we will take that to the summit of South Mountain, take it back down the Tower Road, then hike Reservation Road back to the truck. We're entering the uh, nice little hemlock grove I mentioned earlier. Quite nice. Pretty steep down there, although this trail doesn't go straight down. Goes moderately down, then to a minor uh, spur of this mountain, but then it makes a steep descent over, over ledges to dead point. We're now beginning the real descent of the backside of the mountain. Boulder Trail should be coming up in about a half mile.
All right, we just got down the worst of the uh, steep parts on North Patugaway. Now we should be getting very close to the Boulder Trail, and we will take that to the Southridge Trail near Round Pond. All right, we're now on the Boulder Trail, heading towards the Southridge Trail. Should be there in a few minutes. Alright, gotten this far, seven tenths of a mile to the top, should be a uh, pretty good climb, although there is one really, really steep part that I know of, but it's short, it's even shorter than the last part, which I didn't show on camera. Okay, we're on a steep section of the north side of the uh, South Ridge Trail. Heading up to South to Hickaway Mountain. As you can hopefully see, it's a uh, darkness is approaching, and luckily I brought a flashlight, but I probably won't be able to do too much filming because I have to hold the flashlight, the camera, and my glove, which I have to take off the film. We just can get arrived at the summit of South to Mountain. As you can see. Sun's about to set. First time I've ever done a sunset hike. Got the usual view toward Boston, Portsmouth. You see the airport back there too? See the flashing lights? See the towers? Oh yeah. Over there you got Sun of P, Belt Nap, Saddleback, Parker, Blue Job, the uh, Middle and north of Tuckaway, Fort Mountain, uh, Kearse Arch, Crotchin Mountain, uh, Mount Manadnock, north, north and south on Kanunik, the Pack Manadnocks. Can't see it over there, but you got Temple Mountain too. Just magnificent. All right, we've pretty much reached darkness. Still got a little bit to go. There's still uh, some uh, red, yellow, orange light. But so far, we're pretty much in darkness. But it should be smooth sailing back to the truck. We just got a short little road walk on Reservation Road. It shouldn't be that bad. All right, we're on Tower Road. Our last leg of the trek, taking Reservation Road back to the truck. I don't know if you can see, but it is quite dark out. We're really in darkness now. Yep. That's what makes it wild. We should be back to the truck pretty soon.